Please welcome Ola Kalinius, Chairman of the Board of Management of Daimler AG and Head of Mercedes-Benz Cars. Wow, ganz schön voll hier auf der Bühne. Ich freue mich sehr, dass auch vor der Bühne so viel los ist. Guten Morgen und herzlich willkommen bei Mercedes-Benz auf der IAA 2019. Meine Damen und Herren, ich denke, es ist offensichtlich, Mercedes-Benz ist elektrisch. Elektrifizierung ist sicherlich das prominenteste Thema auf dieser IAA. Und es ist auch die tiefgreifendste Veränderung unserer Branche, aber bei weitem nicht die einzige. Die Autoindustrie wandelt sich grundlegend. Ich weiß, viele sind ungeduldig, viele geht der Wandel nicht schnell genug. Alle denen möchte ich sagen, wir sind auch ungeduldig. Deshalb gehen wir diese Transformation mit der ganzen Energie und Leidenschaft meiner 300.000 Kolleginnen und Kollegen bei Daimler an. Zusammen mit unseren Zuliefern und Partnern weltweit. Aktuelle Resultate unserer Arbeit sehen Sie hinter mir. Mercedes-Benz wird bis Ende des Jahres 20 vollelektrische und Plug-in-Hybrid-Modelle im Pkw-Portfolio haben. Und wer lokal ohne Emissionen unterwegs sein möchte, dem stehen bei Daimler noch weit mehr Optionen zur Verfügung. Vom elektrischen Smart EQ42 über den Stadtbus E-Citaro bis hin zum E-Cascadia. Mit der Batterie des E-Cascadia allein könnte man ein Smartphone für die nächsten 100 Jahre laden oder mehr als 100.000 Smartphones in einem Truck emissionsfrei transportieren. Alle unsere Elektrofahrzeuge hätten wir heute gerne mitgebracht, aber dafür ist selbst diese Bühne hier in der Festhalle zu klein. Ich denke, es ist klar, die Transformation unseres Unternehmens ist im vollen Gange. Gerade deshalb haben wir uns auch die Frage gestellt, was bleibt? Was ändert sich nicht? Eine Antwort, wir sind überzeugt, dass der Bedarf an individueller Mobilität in der Welt weiter zulegen wird. Ein aktueller Beleg, der August war 
für Mercedes-Benz erneut ein Rekordmonat mit einem zweistelligen Absatzplus. Wir sind damit weiterhin die führende Premium-Marke global. Auch das ist ein Grund für uns, zuversichtlich in die Zukunft zu blicken. Die Weltbevölkerung wächst und die Menschen werden künftig deutlich mobiler sein. Kein Wunder, Mobilität ist im wahrsten Wortsinn Fortschritt. In Ländern, in denen die Menschen überdurchschnittlich mobil sind, ist auch das Wohlstandsniveau am höchsten. Auch deshalb ist Mobilität nicht nur ein Grundbedürfnis, sondern ein Grundrecht. Speziell für die Marke Mercedes-Benz gibt es einen zweiten globalen Trend, der sich aller Voraussicht nach verstärken wird. Die Nachfrage nach dem Besonderen, nach herausragenden Produkten und Erlebnissen. Der Markt für Luxusgüter hat sich hier in den vergangenen 20 Jahren fast verdreifacht. Und Prognosen sagen weiter signifikantes Wachstum voraus. Mercedes war immer auch eine moderne Luxusmarke. Schon das erste Auto war mehr als ein Fortbewegungsmittel. Of Dieser Aspekt ist Teil This aspect unserer Geschichte. Is part of our history und er gehört and will weiterhin continue zu Mercedes-Benz. Unsere Aufgabe ist es jetzt, Now, modern luxury to redefine zu what modern luxury is und for Mercedes. Und dabei ist Mercedes. klar, begehrenswert. In this context, one thing is clear, Luxus desirable, modern luxury sein, has to be sustainable, but also faszinierend. sustainably fascinating. Wie geht das? How can this work? Wir sind überzeugt, We are convinced der Weg des that the way to progress is paved by excellent technology. Und die Essenz And the essence der of the best Ideen ideas of our smartest engineers das ist seit jeher has always die been the S-Class. Our von customers expect the S-Class to be the vanguard of innovation in the automotive manufacturing sagen, industry. One could say that they expect the Mercedes amongst the Mercedes. Für unseren Purpose. And thus Der the S-Class is the symbolic Arbeit, representation of our Wurzel. purpose, the deeper First meaning behind our work, our raison d'être, first move the world. And this is what we get up for every morning. Accordingly, this is our guiding principle when developing each and every new wir Mercedes. Purpose our purpose is based on four concrete principles. Entlang dieser vier Along these four principles, zeigen, we would like to show you what a full-size saloon might look like in the future. Meine Damen und Herren, Ladies and gentlemen, ist here is Mercedes the Mercedes-Benz Vision, Vision EQS. EQS.
Ein Kunstwerk. Meine Hohe Damen Kochart. und Herren, Ladies and gentlemen, das hier this ist is unsere our idea von of sustainable modern, modern luxury. luxury. Eine voll elektrische fully electric luxury saloon of the 21st century. The Mercedes-Benz Mission Vision EQS. Our flagship car ship cars have always been trendsetters and brand ambassadors, icons. And the beginning of all this is the design. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, as the saying goes. But one thing is indisputable. For cars, the design is essential. This is why the design is the most important principle of our purpose. We want to offer more than a, just a protective shell used to move from place A to place B. This aspiration never changes, but the form of expression um, to achieve this does. Design requires setting new standards again and again, and this is why we again strike out in a new direction with our Vision EQS. And the catchword is one bound design. One clear line is sufficient. With one arc, you can draw the entire shape, because we believe that modern luxury is not about opulence, but about reducing the design to what is essential. An essential facet of a stylish appearance is the right illumination. The wraparound LED band of uh, light uh, in the Vision EQS creates a visual connection between the interior and the exterior. The holographic lens modules on the headlamps create a unique 3D effect. And the LEDs in the front grille, too, can be configured for different light scenarios. And the same concept of individuality holds true for the interior space of the Vision EQS, because design is more than just beautiful hardware. It is also about digital design. In future vehicle generations, all passengers can individually interact with our MBUX system by gestures or voice. We'll also use the dashboard as a projection screen for different information or charts. For us, modern luxury also means attention to detail. In the Vision EQS, this includes everything from the LED grill at the very front up to the perfectly cut stars in the taillights. But when we talk design, but when talking about design, we of course also want to seize the opportunity to present to you some new cars that are closer to the point of being launched. This applies particularly to a model that will be presented here for the very first time ever, the world premiere, the new Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe. The GLE Coupe is uh, definitely not a car that has to go into hiding. It is a real statement. And with this new addition, the appearance has become even more sporty and more elegant at the same time and more efficient because we believe that it's our job and our responsibility to cater to our customers' needs in a way that is as sustainable as possible. This is why we will offer the GLE and the GLC as plug-in hybrid variants with uh, an electric range that can easily cover daily commuting distances without local emissions. The GLE Coupe will also be available as a diesel plug-in hybrid with an electric range of about 100 kilometers. Furthermore, we've been able to reduce the drag coefficient in the new GLE Coupe by another 9% with a corresponding effect on the fuel consumption all engine variants. This underlines that the most effective lever to reconcile more mobility with lower emissions lies in technological progress. And this brings me to the second principle of our purpose. This principle is all about innovation. Our DNA is characterized by pioneering spirit. The founders of our company 
were the architect of a new type of mobility without horses, and it is our task today to look at individual mobility without emissions. Under the slogan of Ambition 2039, we deal with the issue of carbon dioxide reduction. The most important goals are as follows. Carbon neutral vehicle production in Europe by 2022. In Germany, for instance, all production sites will procure electricity coming from renewable source to 100 percent. And by 2013, more than half of our new cars sold might come with an electric drive. Furthermore, we are aiming at a carbon-neutral new car fleet by the year 2039. The Vision EQS is an indication of what the implementation of our sustainability strategy means for our vehicles. The most important component is not visible, though. Our new e-platform. Initially, we have developed this platform to meet the requirements for mid- and full-sized electric passenger cars in order to fully exploit all the opportunities offered by this new technology. Full-size vehicles have characterized Mercedes-Benz and made Mercedes um, successful. They are the heart of the brand. And now they have their own dedicated e-platform. Today, our current vehicle architectures are already designed to provide flexible powertrain config configurations. They provide new plug-in hybrids and ICs as well as electric EQ models. Electric drives will become the core business of MB, and it is clear that sustainability is more than just a matter of the drive. It is about the entire package. A large number of components is already made of recycled plastics, and this number shall further increase. In the long run, our value chain will evolve into a value cycle. We will include our entire supply chain in the goals for carbon reduction and make climate protection one of the criteria for awarding new supply contracts. Let me give an example. Approximately 45 percent of the carbon emissions in the life cycle of an electric passenger car are caused before the car hits the road for the first time. Because of this, it may be that the overall CO2 balance of a car with a combustion engine is better in the first few years, and this is a circumstance that we want to change. Particularly in battery production, there is still a lot of room for improvement. For the next generation of our EQ models, we have already taken steps with our suppliers to produce a proportion of battery cells with zero emission production. This will generate a double-digit percentage reduction in the CO2 emissions of these electric vehicles across the entire supply chain. Another starting point for improvements is the following. An electric vehicle is only as green as the power it is charged with. And this is why our customers can recharge their vehicles almost entirely with power from renewable sources via our quick charge joint venture Ionity, because this is also something that we understand by sustainable modern luxury. Our customers can be sure that their vehicle from Mercedes-Benz is based on a sophisticated overall concept. And this does, of course, not only apply to EQS customers. With the new Mercedes-Benz EQV, we introduce an electric range um, of up to of a good 400 kilometers for the first time, with a space for up to eight seats. And for those who prefer something smaller, the A-Class, the A-Class Saloon and the B-Class are also available as a plug-in hybrid with an electric range of about 70 kilometers. Further, compact models will follow because we keep hearing from the markets that it is this segment where customers are particularly interested in e-mobility. 
Only our electric smart EQ models are even more compact. Since 2007, smart has offered a fully electric variant in every generation. The latest generation is electric only, coming from carbon neutral production. And under the tech label EQ Performance, we will also electrify the vehicles by Mercedes AMG. The plans range from a performance hybrid to a fully electric car from a Falterbach. Here can, you can see a different kind of performance. Moderate driving without heavy acceleration or braking wins plus points. The longer the bowl stays in the middle, the more efficient the journey is. We'll introduce the EcoScore into production vehicles shortly. Millions of people are motivated to improve their fitness through gamification on their smartwatches. Why should this kind of competition not increase efficiency in the car as well? Apart from zero emissions, accident-free driving has always been and will remain our most important development goal. And this brings me to our purpose principle number three. Our customers entrust the Mercedes with the most valuable good of all, their life and the lives of their loved ones. And we are well aware of this special responsibility. Safety is part and parcel of our DNA, and this is why we have invented technologies such as the Crumple Zone, ABS, ESP, and airbags. The experimental safety vehicles of Mercedes-Benz, our ESVs, even take traffic safety to the next level. Our ESV of 2019 brings up the following question. What must the safety systems in cars be able to do when cars are fully automated in the future? One answer is they must be able to communicate with the outside world, for example. The vehicle recognizes me as a pedestrian and always gives me a clear indication that it has spotted me. And what's more, the traffic behind is informed by a live picture on the rear windscreen that a pedestrian is crossing the road ahead. Several safety features from this ESV you will see as Mercedes-Benz standard features in the next 12 months to come. One prominent example is the airbag for passengers in the back seats. Beyond more traffic safety, there are many more dimensions to safety first at Mercedes. One of these dimensions is data protection. Contrary to some apps on your smartphone, when making recommendations for navigations in real time, we are interested in only two types of information, place and time. That's all we need to know and all we want to know, for that matter. And the same holds true for artificial elements. We are one of the first manufacturer to set up a voluntary obligation based on four principles. For innovation such as autonomous driving, AE is absolutely necessary. We employ AI in a meaningful and conscientious manner. This too is part of our understanding of modern luxury and one of the reasons why customers place their trust in our brand. When talking about trust, safety and efficiency, one aspect should not be forgotten. Fascination, because the most effective behavioral change 
Changes are those that we want to make and not just ought to make. The fourth and last principle is about just that. It is about what unites us, motivates us and inspires us. Let's start with the following question. Why are we here in the first place? One could say, that's obvious. We are all here in Frankfurt on business. But I don't think that this is all. For most of us, a car is more than just a means of transport, isn't it? What we also share is our fascination with cars, our passion for technology, and our enthusiasm about all the opportunities that arise from this. Who of you believes that the most exciting technology in our industry has already been fully developed and finalized because automotive engineers can't come up with anything better for cars anymore? I agree with you. The best is still to come. At Mercedes, we are convinced that the relationship with cars will become even closer, even less complicated, more natural and more direct. Let's look, for example, at the new possibilities that we have to get in touch with our customers and vice versa. By 2025, we expect that up to 25% of our customers will buy their new car online. And this is an option that we are also in the process of developing with our car dealers. Currently, we are testing direct selling with fixed, standardized prices, online as well as offline. Or look at the connection between a customer and their car. At Mercedes, MBUX is responsible for this. The digital assistant understands, learns to understand your habits and routines better and listens to your Hey Mercedes commands and adapts to your requirements. For the designers, this offers the, offers the opportunity to have a cleaner interior design without too many switches and buttons, as in the Vision EQS. Isn't the thought fascinating that technology adapts to you quite naturally as a matter of course and not the other way around, and even without being wordy, as in this video clip? Uh-oh. Looks like we have a serious baby situation here. Little Paul pulls an all-nighter. Again. So let's fix this for the two of them. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Activate the baby protocol. Play music. Darken windows. Set ambient light. Start active body control. Baby protocol set. Okay, well, that's a bit too successful. But possibilities are endless with your MBUX voice assistant. Now back to you, Ola. Well, I believe many know this situation. Thank you, George. And by the way, this friendly gentleman is not an actor, but George Massing, our vice president, vehicle and mobility, and I look forward to all the other new ideas MBUX might come up with in the future. The parents among us know how useful such an automated lullaby protocol might be. Most of all, we want to show you with this what possibilities MBUX can offer us. As a car manufacturer, we have a huge advantage in that we can seamlessly connect both hardware and software. Our developers are currently working on a standard version of the baby protocol, and I can promise you that it's not going to take nine months. Most customers probably prefer listening to something else than baby songs anyway for a change, and that is why we integrate more and more streaming apps directly in MBUX, and soon we will get started with Amazon Music. The examples show 
what we want to achieve. Modern luxury by Mercedes is also about small things that can make life easier and more relaxed. Or about the special moments that are simply fun and enjoyable in the car and beyond. For me, a small moment of luxury might look like this, a relaxing day on the beach. But I know, of course, that different people have different preferences, and this is reflected by our diverse offering for the near future. As far as the future journey is concerned, one thing is clear. We will not embark on this journey alone. The climate change is a mammoth task that can only be handled successfully if many stakeholders join forces across the borders of companies, industries and political parties. We can and want to continue to contribute our share, and part of this you can again see here on stage. But at this point, it is also time for an expression of thanks. We have experienced, for instance, a very good cooperation with the German federal government and the state governments in shaping the mobility of the future. And furthermore, I also look forward to the discussion with the chairman of the Green Party, Bündnis 90 Die Grünen, the day after tomorrow at the Me Convention here in Frankfurt. I'm sure the discussion will be interesting. There will most likely be no disagreement on the fact that the industry and policymakers can work towards carbon reduction only together. One effective means to this end would be putting a price on CO2. Financial arguments can be an effective lever when environmental innovations are directly linked with economic incentives. But what counts in the end is the overall reduction of global emissions. The perhaps most important source of progress is a renewable resource, human ingenuity. This conviction is certainly shared by around 300,000 Daimler employees. By the many colleagues in the production, in the factories across the world, in the national companies and subsidiaries, by our colleagues in the administration, by the motorsports team, by our sales teams and dealerships, in our R&D department, by my whole management team, and, of course, by our ambassadors. People that you see here are only a few of many that work hard to achieve this future mobility every day. And for me, it is it's a privilege to be part of this team, because these people, with their passion and ideas, are the main reason why I am fully optimistic with regard to the future of cars. Thank you very much. So I hereby op officially open our IAA stand today. I wish you the best of success here in Frankfurt. Thank you.